What is up you guys? It is Brad here today from Brick Lover Brad and today I am here with another episode of Ask Brick. Ask Brick is my Q&A show here on YouTube and across all my social media platforms where you guys leave me questions about Lego, life, or literally anything at all down in the comments across any video and I answer them up here. I've got a lot of really great questions here today and I am super excited to dive into them. So the very first question is from Bricks. Ask Brick, what are your thoughts on the Brixy slash land situation? This one is definitely a little bit of a doozy and that's why I wanted to answer it first. So for those of you who may not know, Brixie is a fellow Canadian Lego YouTuber, a very nice guy, great guy, and towards the end of last year, he uploaded a video from Bill in Denmark of the Lego Avengers Tower, and in the bottom corner, there was an unreleased Lego set that was on the same table as the Lego Avengers Tower, but the embargo dates were different, so when he was allowed to post the Avengers Tower, he was not yet allowed to post this other Lego set, and unfortunately, a clip from that frame was released onto his YouTube channel. He had done a great job of trying to black it out everywhere else, but a little clip accidentally got out and he leaked the set. And basically what happened after that is the community picked up on it. Everyone found out what the set was and Brixie was penalized by the Lego Ambassador Network with a six month probation or suspension. And that sucks. And I seen other people make videos on this as well and what are my thoughts on it i think it sucks for brixie i don't think that leak was very intentional in fact i think it was very careless on lego's part to have an unreleased set on the table to another unreleased set with different embargo dates they should have separated them they should have made it very clear what those embargoes were and i think it just sucks for brixie that he's being penalized for lego's mistake Sure, other YouTubers probably filmed that same tower and may have not included the unreleased Lego set in their video, so theoretically Brixie could have done that as well, but he admitted that he made a mistake, and you could see he clearly tried to not leak the set by having that black box, and it just slipped through, and it's human error, and it happens, and it sucks, but it's still, I don't think it was really fair. I think he was set up for failure. I think that LIGO could have done more to prevent that. And I think a six-month suspension for something like that is pretty harsh, in my opinion. It's it's just it's an unfortunate situation that I guess it's better than him getting kicked out of the LIGO Ambassador Network because that would have significant impacts to his channel. But I think it's one of those situations like, oops, you made a mistake. Here's a little slap on the wrist and move on. Six months seems a little harsh considering Lego had a part to play in it. It's the same as Duck Brick's suspension from a few months ago where he was sent an unreleased Lego set and he showed it on camera. And again, like, yeah, that was way more his fault than it in that situation than it is Brixie's fault in this situation. But still, Lego could do more to protect, like, have a piece of paper on the inside of the box that says embargo date, this date. So if you're opening up on camera, you go, oops. I shouldn't be talking about this right now and you move on so I think Lego Ambassador could learn the network could learn from this I do think it sucks that Brixie got the brunt end of it I don't think it was entirely his fault I think that Lego definitely played a part in it but I think he handled it very gracefully six months is a long suspension though maybe like two or three months for your first defense would be a little bit nicer like this just creates fear and scaring people into complying with lego but i think lego could definitely they've had two major leaks now from the lego ambassador network so maybe they should take a little bit of time to be like hmm, what can we do to prevent leaks but i think the whole situation itself is just unfortunate and it sucks that brixie got the brunt end of it because i don't entirely think it was his fault but i guess lego is painting it that way at the end of the day, like it was a mistake and we've all got to move on and learn from it. This next question is from SS Tips. Ask Brick, how many broken Lego parts are in your broken pieces drawer? So you guys know Lego pieces break. They happen all the time and I should throw my broken Lego pieces out, but I don't and I keep them in a broken parts drawer. I actually used to keep them in the Pappy Max drawers over here, but unfortunately there was just too many broken parts and it overfilled the drawer. So now I keep them down here. As you guys can tell, it is just in this yellow bin here and basically all the broken parts are here. There's anything from melted horses to broken plates, actual damaged lights, just like plates that are so dirty and broken, they're pretty much beyond repair. Tons of miscolored bricks here. And there's even things that just like mini figure parts that just have Sharpies and things like that. So it is a pretty full bin, unfortunately. Definitely a little bit more full than I would have liked. But anytime I do get a broken part or something like that, I just throw it in here. Should I throw these parts out? Yeah, probably. Other than just having a box full of broken Lego parts, there's no real benefit into having any of these. I did try and make a mock one time many, many years ago with broken Lego parts, and it was absolutely a disaster. It does not look that good. But I just can't bring myself to throwing out these parts, so that's why I continue to have a bit of them. Mithon Thoris 1 asks, 
Ask Brick, have you ever thought of doing any other adult hobbies? I don't know what you mean by this question because Lego is an adult hobby. Lego has been my hobby ever since 2012, I would say, since I really got into Lego, and it has continued to be here ever since. I myself am really one of my only friends that has hobbies that's not involving video games or something like that. A lot of them will play maybe sports or video games is a really common one, but for the most part, a lot of them don't have a lot to do. So I am very lucky to have this adult hobby that I call an adult hobby. Sure, there are other adults hobbies out there, I guess you could say golf or collecting cars or car guys or like I don't even know what other male adult hobbies there would be but Lego is definitely my favorite one so far and if you are implying in this question that Lego is not an adult hobby you would be sorely mistaken as per the thousands of people watching this video who will also back up that being an adult fan of Lego is a hobby and that's all I need. So yeah, the question being are you going to have any other adult hobbies? No, because I've already got an adult hobby and I don't have time for more. Ask Brick, do you think the new LEGO CMF boxes are here to stay? So last September when we saw the launch of the LEGO Marvel CMF boxes, I knew that we would have these for a while. Obviously being January 2024 now, the new series 25, I think 25, the yellow boxes of LEGO minifigures just also got released, and of course they are in the LEGO boxes. Now the debate that these have been since for like a year now is the fact that A falls A hate these boxes because they're you can't feel LEGO minifigures anymore and we're all coming up with creative solutions to get around it, but B, that from the these Lego boxes are absolutely crazy. I've made videos in the past talking about how all these minifigures keep getting stolen, and I think that that could be a reason for Lego to reverse the decision. Lego fans not being able to feel the boxes, I don't think Lego's going to care about that one enough because that just makes us buy more Lego minifigures, so they're not going to change it. But the fact that these figures keep getting stolen and the boxes damaged, this could be enough for Lego to reverse the decision. In terms of if I think these Lego boxes are here to stay, that is a really tough question. Lego really has to evaluate the sales cycle from a few different quarters of these series minifigures. If they're only noticing a huge drop in minifigure sales or a huge increase in theft of these minifigures, that itself might be enough to change the packaging back or change the alternative or to something different again. However, if it's just LEGO fans complaining, I don't think LEGO will make the change, but I think that if the theft is a really big problem, LEGO could eventually make the change. I think the boxes are here to stay for the time being because they invested like millions of dollars into making them and they probably have the next few series boxes already made and designed, so it would be really hard to just change the packaging now, but it will be interesting to see in a year or so if LEGO will reverse their decision on the boxes because of the theft and because of the, the errors and the issues with them, or if they're going to truck along and say, yeah, even though there is theft and we're losing a lot of money that way of damaged product, these are still better for the environment and better for our company long term. So that's really only a question that the LEGO team and like LEGO's data will be able to answer in LEGO's planning. I can't say. I would love to say that they won't be here for very long, but if it was just based on a false complaining, I don't think anything would happen, but because of the theft and the issues there, I do think that is a possibility that these boxes could change in the future. So I'm not completely sh shutting the idea down because it could very well happen and we'll all just have to wait and see. Red OT9C asked, asked Brick, I heard that they don't give the mini chef restaurant minifigures to adults anymore. How did you get yours? I made this video on TikTok a little while ago about my mini chef restaurant Lego minifigure that I got at the Lego house restaurant uh, where you can build your own meal using Lego bricks. So I made this video a while ago, and how did I get that Lego minifigure? So for starters, I went to the Legos back in 2018, so it's been about five years since I went there. I looked a little bit, I have a baby face now, but I looked like even more of a baby face back in 2018. I was only 18 years old, and how I got that minifigure was I literally just sat down and ordered the kids menu. So when you are building your, your meals, this is an example of an adult meal because it's got the four regular bricks. This is a kid's meal because it's got three bricks plus this yellow profile brick, which signifies that you are a kid and you want that Lego minifigure. So basically when I went to the mini chef restaurant in 2018 and I placed my order, I went with my dad, he ordered an adult meal and I was a 18 and I just placed an order for a kid's meal and the minifigure came out with it. It's all robots. Like you're not actually ordering from a waiter or anything like that. You just put it in the computer and then the food comes down from the conveyor belt. So unless somebody's double checking, they aren't, they're just getting that Lego minifigure and nobody really noticed. I can see them not giving you the minifigure if you're an AFOL and you ask your hostess or your waiter or something like that for the Lego minifigure. They're probably not allowed to do that. Um, but I, yeah, if you just go and order a kid's meal, it's first off a little bit cheaper and you also get less food. But if you just order a kid's meal, you'd probably be able to get that Lego minifigure. I know some of my friends in the AFOL community haven't had luck doing that. Um, some of them asked for it because they just asked the employee and the employee wasn't able to give it to them. But I got mine that way and then I actually have a second one. I think it's sealed in my closet. But my waiter one day at the second time I went to the restaurant so not the first one there but the second time 
he was a super nice guy and we just made like really good conversation and stuff like that. And he actually brought me over. He saw that I was a YouTuber and stuff like that. And he actually brought me over the minifigure and he said, I figured you'd like to make a video on this. So that was really cool of him. Um, so that's why I had two of them that way. But yeah, I guess you probably, you just either suck up to your waiter and ask, but your best bet would probably be just be order a kid's meal and play stupid if you get in trouble with it. But yeah, I did that a few years ago. So I, sometimes it's better to seek forgiveness and ask permission. And if you want that Lego minifigure bad enough, maybe sacrifice the meal and your hunger level and just order the kids meal and hope nobody notices. Reach and throw 3060 asked, asked Brick, how do I join a Lego users group? That's a good question for anyone who's looking to meet more AFALs in their local area. So the first step to joining a Lego users group would actually just be Google how to join a Lego users group. And the very first result should be the Lego ambassador network, which is a community locator network. They've got a map here on their website of the world and it's got all of the different communities all around. So in the States, you can see there's like 114, there's three in the local Toronto area and then there's 14 in Western Canada and there's like 138 plus in Europe and blah 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 they're all over the world so your first step would be to go to that website go to your local location wherever you're located in the world and see if there is a Lego users group near you once you found the local lug in your area basically you can just start googling their name every lugs admission process might be a little bit different some might have age requirements some may have location requirements like it really just depends on that individual lug so based on where you are located in the world and based on the lug that's closest to you, your best bet would then be just to reach out and ask them. From my experience of joining Toro Lug, I've known about it for years, and I knew that one had an 18 plus. It is for Lego APOL. So when I was, I think 22 is when I joined or 20, I was 23 years old. I just emailed Toralug and said, hey, how can I join? It was super easy to join. They sent me a Google form where I just basically applied. They asked a little bit about me and just Pretty much as long as you meet the criteria and you pay your membership fee, you're accepted into the lug. Some may have a more application-based system, some may have other requirements and stuff like that. But for me, joining Toro Lug was pretty easy. And I imagine that every lug is pretty similar because they do have a, a list of rules that they have to follow from Lego to ensure they stay qualified as a lug. Well, lugs, of course, are meant for AFOL. So assuming that you're an AFOL and you're assuming you have a lug in your area, it should be pretty easy to join. And then once you join, you are able to start collaborating and communicating with your fellow AFALs in your area, and it's a great thing to be part of. So it's pretty easy to join. Definitely just do some Googling and see what you can find. The last question for today's episode of Ask Brick is from Nathan Bremer. Ask Brick, do you like Lego Fortnite? So I know Lego Fortnite has just been released, like the game and all the sets and stuff like that that accompanies it, and I am not a big gamer. So unfortunately, Lego Fortnite's not really something that interests me. I've actually never played Fortnite, like the regular version or anything like that. So when Lego Fortnite was announced, everybody got really excited for it but I was just like ah, it's whatever I don't really do that kind of area of the Lego world or like the video games and stuff like that so it wasn't super exciting to me but I know a lot of the other fans of the community are very very excited for it uh, so that's why I'm not going to crap all over Fortnite because they are really happy for it but it's just not something that interests me I won't play the game or anything like that I don't even have a video game console and I am not bothered by that whatsoever so while the sets look cool not of interest to me anyway you guys thank you so much for tuning in to today's episode of Ask Brick I really hope you guys enjoyed me answering all these questions and that you would just enjoy the episode in general and of course if you guys have any future questions for future episodes definitely don't forget to leave them down in the comments below anyway you guys thanks again for watching and i will see you all here in the next video